Hey guys, welcome back Drip and Farm Poor Poverty. I'm your host Drip Coach and let's jump right into it. So I wasn't even going to put out a video because I already put out a video earlier today, but this, um, the announcement just came out for the verdict on the pig pen and the migration basically for using BNB as the payout versus BUSD. And I read this and it triggered me. <laughs> so I'm going to read it first for you guys. The verdict is in BNB emerges triumphant with a astounding 90% majority vote. In a massive turnout, the use of AFP tokens for this crucial governance vote underscores Animal Farm's decentralized power. Thank you all for your active participation. Join us tomorrow on an exclusive interview as we delve into the results and unveiling thrilling updates. So before, like this is when I was drinking the Kool-Aid, I saw all this stuff and, you know, shouts out to Forex, the team, whoever, and Ray, because they are good at hype. And then this is the over promise under deliver. And we're going to break this out. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. And now that I've become more aware, I want to show you guys how you can actually, again, look behind the curtain and see that the emperor has no clothes. So just listening to this, it's like, okay, this part's pretty decent. We'll look at the numbers. And then this, a massive turnout and active participation, right? So this would imply that people are tapped into the ecosystem. I've showed you guys multiple times that people are not. So let's actually take a look at this and see for ourselves. So we come over here, the snapshot was done and finished, it's finalized its tally. So there was 102,000 AFP votes. Remember one pig is one vote, right? And 102,000 voted for BNB and 11K voted for USDT. So 113,000 total votes, right? Not bad, that's pretty cool. That's good to look, uh, look at, those are solid numbers. But let's go over here to the animal farm. We'll see that there is 358,000 total pigs locked, meaning if we had massive and active participation for one, as is said, um, you would have more than 30% of people involved, in my humble opinion, of course, 30% of the pigs. We're gonna actually break down how many are involved first, but 30% of people, if they were tapped into the ecosystem and they were actually caring about this as their investment, which, you know, if it was uh, an investment and that you're looking long-term for, you would probably be active in participating in it. But I personally, my humble opinion, and the data shows that, yeah, Forex just burned so many people that they just don't care. They've moved to other things and they're not paying any attention. Now, on that note though, we have had that massive pump from that huge sell-off. However, I'm going to put this out in this video. What I think is happening here is someone's accumulating to dump again on the launch of V3. <laughs> and I'm laughing. It's gonna, it's gonna suck for those that have been accumulating, but I think that that's what's gonna happen again. There is literally just so much um, resentment at this stage, in my humble opinion, towards Forex's over-promise, under-deliver narrative that I don't believe personally that this is actual um, real investors in the protocol. There are still some, don't get me wrong. I showed you guys that with Reef and there's still people sitting there, but I'm just speculating and that's why I put this out here. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll say it when it launches, but I think this was all just to dump by the rumor. So the news are going to dump literally on the day of the launch and we will see back to down these $10 prices that we had before. Now let's dig into the numbers a little more, right? So I already showed you that this is 30%. You can see that three, six, 360,000 and then 113,000. So simple math, you can see that. Now let's dig into actually how many people are in the actual pig pen. So you got 360,000 pigs, but there's actually 15,000 wallets. Now I could deduce, I have no idea how to you know verify this, but I would assume that each of these it's really hard to say, but it, more than likely one wallet would represent one actual body because there's no incentive for you to spread pigs across multiple wallets when you're getting the same payout per pig and you're getting taxed in and out. So it doesn't make sense for you to split that tax. Like logically it doesn't make sense, but you know, some people could have it that way, but let's just assume that this actually is 15,000 people. Now, the question would be, out of this 15,000 people, how many actively participated in the vote? Well, that's a simple number that we can get as well. Right here is a CSV export, so we can pull this up. Data doesn't lie. Let's come, come and take a look at the numbers. So what I've done here is exported that CSV. So there's 15, 
thousand rows in this <laughs> in this uh, Excel spreadsheet. You can see that there, 15,000. And the number of pigs here adds up almost to what was there. So the data is a little delayed probably, but 352,000 versus 358,000, it's negligible. So it's not that big of a deal. So I took this from the actual um, UI. Now, over here is the deposited pigs and over here is the net. So some people withdrew pigs and it shows that. So all we wanna do is add up the net pigs as of whatever this snapshot is on Doom. Well, if we come here to the top, this should say 50, 50 wallets, they own 123,000 pigs. So if the top 50 people, 50 out of 15,000 would have voted, we would have seen more than we saw here. This is only 113,000 votes. So if 50 of the 15,000 top wallets would have voted, we would have had more votes for the pigs than we saw. And if we go to top 100, because I thought that's what it would have been at first, that's 160,000. So I don't know who the actual voters are in here, but it's clear <laughs> that it's not active by any stretch of the word. And looks like a lot of the smaller, well, these are still decent wallets. Because I think when we come to here, yeah, we start getting into the hundreds. Um, around the top 100, you already have 50, 555. So, um, oh, it's not actually in order. I take that back. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is right here. So people with a thousand pigs, they're in the top 50. So the bulk of people that did participate, you know, just scrolling, I didn't look at all these because here's some lower numbers. Um, it's all over the place. But the point is that you didn't even get your top 50 to participate actively because these are much, much smaller investors. So whoever the top pig holders are, they're not even paying attention or they don't care or they were tapped out or whatever you wanna say, but the data doesn't lie. So that's where I'm bringing this up because this is the information that we get. This is also like the narrative that Ray would always push out. He would, he would spin things to make you think that is bullish. And if you're just like digesting just information kind of, um, half-heartedly then you have kind of filtered and biased information because it's like oh you just read this and it sounds like everything's great but when you look behind the scenes and look at the numbers you can clearly see that this is not a massive turnout and this does not show active participation there's no other way to slice it like let me see so percentage wise if the top 50 would have voted that would have just been 0.32% of the entire total available holders. Now, again, granted, there's a lot of smaller bag holders that voted. So I'm sure there's more than 50 people that participated. But the point I'm getting at is that the most, the people with the most sweat, equity, and skin in the game, they didn't even show up in droves to participate because um, in order to get those numbers, you would have had a lot higher turnout in regards to the total vote. So just scrolling through here, it looks like it's mostly, again, the small bag holders holding up the ecosystem. So there's definitely more than a hundred or so here, but <laughs> it takes a lot of these to actually move that needle. So a lot of people turned out to vote, but the point I'm getting at is that the major bag holders did not. So that is insane to see, to say the least. So I would not call this, in my humble opinion, active participation, even if you use just the total number of pigs that are staked. And just for transparency and digging, I paused it to just actually see. So if you have the average pig per person, if you take the uh, total number of pigs locked and the total holders, each person would have about 23 pigs. So that means from a voting perspective, about 4,800 people showed up. And that would be, again, uh, close to this 30%, 4,800 out of 15,000. So just under 30% um, showed up. So still, that to me does not show active or massive, in my humble opinion. I guess it depends on how you want to define those words. But it's just very telling, my personal opinion, about seeing what's happening with the REAP token, seeing what's happening with the um uh the price of the assets that 
the major bag holders are just sitting on the sidelines and basically the small bag holders are the ones that are kind of like hoping and praying that Forex will deliver because they're probably the ones most wrecked and the major bag holders, they made the money. <laughs> so they don't really need to participate against speculation. So I don't know, just want to throw that out there so you can have some numbers and have some clarity. So next time when you're hearing staying things, look behind the curtain. You know, do a little research, run a couple numbers and see what the data tells you versus what you're being force fed. I think we should have all learned our lesson now after the last 20 plus months. All right, that's all I got. Smash the HBO special, help a brother out, like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.